Hi, it's Alaska Granny. If I'm in the lower 48 and I see a Dollar Tree, you can pretty much bet that I'm going to stop in and see what I can find. One of the prepping strategies that I've set for myself lately is to spend $10 extra every time I go to the store or go shopping. Whenever I have a chance, I try to set aside 10 extra dollars to add to my prepper pantry and my food storage stockpile or any other prepping supplies that I can find. Let me show you what I got on this trip to the Dollar Tree. I did go over my $10 budget a little bit, but not very much, and it was for a good reason. The first item I picked up is the Toasted O's, the Cheerios. I like Cheerios. This is a good buy. You can easily pair it with one of the shelf-stable milks from Dollar Tree. This time I decided to try it with oat milk. Toasted oats with oat milk. I don't know. Maybe it'll become a new favorite. You can also find regular milk at Dollar Tree. You can find whole milk, 1%, 2%, almond milk, and then also oat milk. So if you have special dietary needs, maybe go ahead and look for some of these shelf stable or UHT milks at Dollar Tree. They last a long time in your pantry. Once you open them though, you need to keep them in the refrigerator. So I have a whole week's worth of breakfast just with these two items from Dollar Tree. The next item I picked up at Dollar Tree is a can of sliced peaches. These are the Pampa brand, which I didn't look carefully. I've purchased some of the Pampa brand before, and they were from places like Thailand and Peru, and it didn't dawn on me to look at it. This can is actually from China, and if I would have realized it's from China, I wouldn't have purchased it. I'm just against buying food from China if I can help it. But sometimes we slip up or whatever, and we can't just assume all food from China is no good. A lot of it still is, but we need to be cautious and be reading labels more carefully. Don't just take it for granted what a label used to say. Continue to read them because products change. It's still good to have an extra can of fruit. Maybe it'll go good with my breakfast. Next, I picked up a little jar of Kraft Real Mayonnaise. This is a delicious mayonnaise. It's in a nice handy size, especially now when we might be wanting to stretch our budgets. A big jar of mayonnaise may not be in your budget, but a small one can be. Depending on how much mayonnaise you use, this might be a good size for you. You can whip up a few tuna fish sandwiches, some chicken salad sandwiches, some pasta salads, if you have some mayonnaise and a few other items in your prepper pantry. So mayonnaise is versatile. I enjoy using it, so I was glad to find this one for $1.25. Once again, I found the sweet chili sauce at Dollar Tree. This is a very delicious sweet sauce. A lot of the foods that you find in places like Indonesia, Malaysia are very spicy, but this one is sweet. It's nice to have a different flavor profile when you're trying different kinds of dishes. You could combine some of this sauce on top of some chicken with some stir fried veggies and some rice and have a nice flavorful meal. Next, I bought a package of potato gnocchi. These are so nice. They're little potato dumplings. They're kind of like a pasta, and you can put them in boiling water, and in just a minute or two, they're prepared. You can also add them into things like tomato soup. You can serve them with pasta sauce over them. You can serve them with cheese sauce over them. They're even nice with something like chicken a la king over the top of it. Potato gnocchis are versatile. They're pantry stable. It's something different. They're filling, and they're delicious. So if you have a way that you use the potato gnocchi, leave it in the comments so we can try some new recipe ideas. I'll put a link to one of the videos I made about how I use potato gnocchi in case you're interested. So when you're shopping at Dollar Tree, eight items equals the $10, and these were six items that I picked up. So I went a little overboard on the next one. I went over my budget because I found some very cute band-aids. If you have small children in your life, you know that a kiss, a hug, and a band-aid can solve a lot of the scrapes and bumps that kids get into. So it was fun to find a different variety. Gabby's Dollhouse, which I never heard of. Scooby-Doo. Who can't love Scooby-Doo? My Little Pony. SpongeBob. And PJ Masks. So that's a nice variety of bandages to have when my grandchildren are visiting me. So those are the items that I bought at Dollar Tree on this trip, a little over $10. I got a lot of food items for my long-term food storage stockpile. I also got some first aid supplies with my supply of Band-Aids. Let us know what you're adding to your stockpile. What are you finding that's hit or miss at Dollar Tree? Sometimes we can find things, sometimes we can't. And I look at it this way, that if I do see something that I know I like, 
that I've had before, then I will pick up a few of them if they're available and I usually don't see them anymore. That's becoming one of the challenges, is finding the things that we really want at a price we can afford. I hope you'll like my video, share my video with someone else you think might enjoy it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.